Well, welcome back to Timeline Ranch. It is another beautiful day. Um, mild breeze. Temperatures are about perfect. I'll show you what I'm planning on doing today. So, I know I sound like a broken record on these, but that's what it takes to get this type of work done with one person, one machine, and one dump trailer. I will be back digging on the pond again. So today I hope I'll be able to get that last little section of spoils out of the pond, uh, at least on this side of the, the creek right here that feeds the pond. Let's go up on the road, I'll show you what sections I'm planning on you know, concentrating on. All right, so we're up here. Mainly I'm gonna fill Fill this little section right here in. I say little section, it's probably 10, probably 10 loads with the dump trailer at least. And that should make my whole corner here about the same. You know, it'll be about 25 foot wide. It should be quite adequate to make the turn with the trailer. So I'll start the first couple loads I'm going to bring up as high as I can probably two or three and dump them up here and then I'll start you know dropping the rest you know full full ones right here and I'll bring the machine up push that in there work my way up to the top and I'll have a partial like a nine scoops in the trailer so I can make it all the way up to the top again and I'll spread that out and I think that's Probably the most most effective I can be. Well, the sun's fixing to come up over the top of the mountain over there. So I'm gonna get to work and start hauling. scoops in this one I dropped the first one up there was nine nine buckets in there and then ten buckets and then ten and then I did eleven on the last one there was four loads already up there on the road at the top I'm gonna dump this one on that inside of that curb where I need to build it out a little bit more that's where these are going I'm gonna probably dump four or five right there and then take the machine up there and you know knock it down.
this pile off here and then one more dig on it. I think I'll be done done with digging on this side. Yeah, that's that shelf I was talking about making over there. I want to plant some moringa right here, which I brought. Uh, two little bitty young ones. They're about three weeks old. Hopefully they'll make it. We'll see. If not, I'll plant some more later. I gotta, you know, later I'm gonna put some topsoil in there, plant the moringa, and then later once I dig the bottom of the pond out all the way, I'm gonna put rock along this edge here. But I'm not gonna do it now because it'll be in my way later when I go to digging on it. Yeah, that's a considerably large improvement on the volume of water in the pond now. I'm sure it'll be nice to see it fill up. Probably won't be here, but it'll be nice to see it. some sun rays Um, I still need probably about the same maybe four more or five more loads over here and you see I kind of a sharp corner right there I need to fill that in I'm gonna take the blade and knock this edge down and, and go up and pull all that up to the top and then I've got nine scoops in the trailer over there I'll bring it up as high as I can get it
I think after I drive over it and get it good and packed in, I'll be able to make it all the way with 15. I'm just gonna do parcel loads like this, uh, 10, and just you know spot it on down and then drag it up with the machine. I'm just going to take off this little bit that's left right there and throw the trailer. It's not even enough to haul up there, I don't think. It's not worth it. I'll haul it tomorrow when I dig some more. Then I need to plant the moringa that I brought right in there. I'm going to take the 18 inch bucket and take a little plug out of it with it. Dig down you know, about 18 inches. Put some good topsoil in there and then saturate it real good and plant the trees in there and hopefully they'll they'll make it there was a little bit of moisture in the soil uh, down pretty deep i'm gonna plant them kind of deep anyway because i want the roots to be down below the frost line just to make sure because moringa is real sensitive to cold if you're not aware of that well let me get this last bit of the spoils out of here
such a beautiful sight. Having this thing all nice and smooth all the way to the top now. I don't know if you caught it on that other video, I said I always caught a rock. It was that one right there. With the trailer. I'm going to build it up, you know, a couple feet there, so it should be well above that rock. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I tried to get it out of there. The thing's not moving. I even tried with a jackhammer. Couldn't get it to break loose. If I worked on it long enough, I can get it out of there, but it wasn't worth it. So tom tomorrow, or when I get back on this part of the road, I'm going to just keep bringing, you know, that fill up. And then I'll make those parking spots right here. And I was trying to think of a way, because I don't want to have to keep backing all the way up this thing. That's a long ways to back that trailer up. It's about, it's almost 400 feet having to back it up. I was wondering if I could make make a spot where I could turn around up here. It takes some work to do it, but I think it'd save a lot of time. I was thinking about making a spot right in there where I could back, you know, back it back in there. I don't know. Because I've got a lot more material to bring up here, you know, i got to get... I got this other road that's going to go through here to get up to the water towers, the water tower building up there. And I sure don't have to back all the way up from the bottom there. I have a turnaround. If you keep going up this road, I have a turnaround out there, but it's pretty rough. I, I need to put some time into it because it'll tear my tires up if I keep using it like that. I don't know. I'll think about it. You know, Moringa doesn't like the cold. If it gets down to 50, we'll have a dirt devil over there. And if it goes down to 50, it goes dormant. If it hits the 40s, a lot of times it'll drop its leaves. But it's a good candidate for chop and drop because it grows so quick during the warm months. And it comes back, it has tuber roots, so it comes back real good from the root as long as it's deep enough that it doesn't freeze. Because out here, you know, unless I have a greenhouse, I probably won't get it all the way to go to seed unless I just let it grow wild. But then the wind will beat it up, it'll probably break. I like to keep trimming them. You know, make them more like a, a little bush instead of a 25 foot tall stick. Well, let me go plant that thing. After digging that little spot for that moringa tree, you can see there's a little bit of moisture down here. But you got to go down a ways. That is moisture and clay. You go up another. This is the same clay, but it's rock hard. I've got a scoop of topsoil there in the bucket, and I'm gonna dump that here. Probably get a couple more, and I'll shoot it with the instrument. That's why I left that instrument over there. I'll shoot it with the instrument and get it the same height as as that level over there. So I mixed in six buckets, five gallon buckets of water. I took the machine and mixed all that real dry topsoil. You can see it's nice and dark now. And then I shot I placed this topsoil here and shot it. It's within an inch of the grade that I want. It's within an inch of, you know, this, this over here. Oh, 
Well, it's within an inch. So I'm going to dig a little pocket now where the tree's going to go and flood it with water and mix it in good, good and muddy. And then I'm going to scoop up some of the that soupy mud that's down there in the pond, that real fertilized stuff, and throw it in the bottom and then plant the trees on top. that good fertile soil out of the bottom of the pond. I'm going to let the water soak in and then I'll plant it. So here's my sad little moringa trees they got beat up they were in the back of the truck but they're up against the cab I was thinking they wouldn't get beat up too bad but yeah they had a rough trip so I'm gonna go ahead and plant them down in the soft mud there they don't like to be transplanted I would split them up but uh, they don't like to be transplanted so I'm not gonna disturb them any more than they've already been disturbed. Hopefully this fruit ball doesn't fall apart on it. You know, the good thing about this soil, it comes right off your hands. Well, that's it for the day. I'll be back on it again tomorrow. See y'all later.